All right, everybody, we are talking swing speed today, and this is going to be a uh, pretty extensive swing speed video. Not long, it's just, it's gonna take me a long time, but it's gonna be exciting. Oh, so right now, today is March 11th, 2021, and my current swing speed, I just hit a ton of drives, so I'm out of breath, my current swing speed is on average, it's when I'm hitting balls, is 105.7. That's where I'm at, that's my, my baseline, tons and tons of balls. So I've got a good number to look at for that. That's my swing speed. I'm carrying it on average of 263 and getting a 284. Now I'm, I'm happy with that. And I wanna see if just trimming up my body will in fact generate faster club head speed because my theory is this, if there's less of me to move, the faster I'll be able to move. If you're eating breakfast, you might wanna put that down for a sec. Here's me currently. Now, I feel like I got, I got a little bit of this here. Got some love, handle, hand, love handles back here. Okay, got all that. I've got the awesome golf tan. I know you guys like that. Okay, but look. I've kind of let, my, let myself go a little bit here, in my opinion. Okay, not, not horrible, but I feel like there's more of me to move than I'm comfortable with. Okay, so currently, my current weight in this get up here, 164.6. All right, so that's my current weight today. 145 is the goal, but 15 pounds would be 149 right? Something like that. Right there, 15 pounds lighter. And we'll see, do we gain club head speed or lose club head speed? So take a good look. I will see you 15 pounds lighter from today. Wish me luck. Okay. 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 Here we go. This is the after. Did I lose the 15 pounds that I was looking for? We're about to find out. Scales behind me, we're gonna weigh in, all right? So, you saw the before. Here, I'm revealing the aftermath of the time. Sorry if you just ate breakfast. Yes, I have the classic golfer's tan. That's just the way it is. Compare before and after. Did I make the weight loss goal of 15 pounds? Most importantly, did I pick up swing speed by trimming down? Here comes the weigh in. I was 164.6 on the before, got the same outfit, same everything on. I am 142.8. I lost 22 pounds, 0.2 off, but 22 pounds. Holy moly. And I, I still feel like I got, I got a little trimming up to do. Bryson gained like 30. So how does this translate into swing speed and what the heck did I do? All right, so real quick, what did I do to trim up? I did a program called Swing Strong 90, and it's put together by Justin James, Ryan Steenberg, and Cassandra Meyer. It's just an overall golf training workout program, specifically designed to help you swing better, faster, stronger. That's what I did to trim up. I also cut out all the junk food I was eating, chips, candy, desserts, that kind of stuff, and just watch my calories. So you kind of could see, you go through and it gives you a list and it gives you a video example of what to do each and every day. This is kind of your basic workout and you're doing all these cool workouts that are different, like a lot of kettlebell kind of deals. And by the way, just if something says Turkish kettlebell, anything Turkish in it, it's super hard. You're doing this stuff really, uh, strengthening your core and the muscles you use for golf. Okay. So what we're doing is we're trimming up, getting fit and getting in golf conditioned. So I did this five days a week for me. I had a couple days off and consistent. I've tried a number of different types of stuff. Nothing has stuck. This had stuck. So there you go. Trimmed up 22 pounds. I haven't been this light since high school honestly, but did I gain club head speed? And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you some other stuff I got by doing the program 
that I didn't expect, but told just, you know, it was good. First, let's see if we got any uh, driver speed. All right, so everything's the same as it was before. Got the same club, my Titleist TSI-3. This is my gamer, all right? Did I pick up more club head speed? We're gonna hit a bunch of shots and get the average, because we got the average before, get the average after. Rock and roll, baby. Let's see what we got. All right, hit a ton of shots. Feeling good. Here are the results. Well, that one went 311, so that was one of them. 108 club head speed on that one. Let's look at the overall averages. Hit a 30, 40 shot. I mean, hit a bunch of shots. Let's see here. All right, so here we have an average club head speed now of 107.7 versus 105 point something. So I picked up a couple miles an hour of club head speed. Kind of what I expected. My average distance is 293. I hit a number of them over 300. So that was great. And I picked up a couple miles per hour with the driver after dropping 22 pounds. So I would say, look, you don't need to bulk up and gain a ton of muscle to hit it farther. Okay, I lost 22 pounds and I'm longer than I was when I was heavier. So that's good. Here's what's even better. Let me show you. Okay, I've grabbed an eight iron to show you this example. What I found was that after and during using the Swing Strong 90 app and workout routine, as I'm trimming up, I'm getting golf strength in my core, in my legs, I'm getting more stability in key golf muscle areas, all right? So I found the most benefit was with this is now when I'm hitting my irons, because these are the ones that go into the ground, all right? As I strike the ground, I don't lose any stability in my position at impact. Whereas if you're weaker, you know, you're gonna have some give in your muscles. They're not gonna perform the entire round. They're gonna fatigue. But now, what I found is I picked up the most distance in my irons, all right? This is an eight iron. I would normally hit my eight iron. If I had 155, I'd use an eight iron, okay? One, that's kind of my number right there. Nine iron, 135, all right? Here's my eight iron today. That eight iron carried 164. So now I'm a club longer with my irons. And I equate it to this. I didn't gain a ton of club head speed at the top end. What I did gain is a much more stable posture at impact. So now when I enter the ground, my body is fit, it's strong, it's driving through the shot better than ever before. So my pitching wedge is going 135, 140. My nine irons, 155. My eight iron is 165 carry. My wedge game is getting so much better because I just have more stability through the shot. I did not expect that. I thought, hey, I'll get some more speed at the top end. So I lost me, but I picked up stability. I mean, you would think a heavier person would be more stable impact. Uh-uh. Fat is getting in the way of your golf game. So if you're a higher handicap, 12, 15 handicap, 18 handicap, you're gonna drop, I'm willing to bet you're gonna drop five strokes off your game just by getting physically fit. Don't change your swing, just change your physique. And the longer your body lasts throughout the round, the more accurate and precise you're gonna be. And I have better focus, better clarity, better strength, better stamina. Give Swing Strong 90 a checkout. That's what I used, okay? I'm just saying what I used, do what you want. But do, do something good for yourself. Because you only got this one body to last you for a lifetime. So make the most of it. 165.6. Thanks for watching. Hope this video is helpful and inspiring on some level. Love you guys. See you next time.